lot of people walk around with these cur dogs they call pit bulls. Mutts. 15 minute wall jumping curves. I'll let you know about the real bulldog. The opposite of a cur. The fucking game dog. Uh, I'm a bulldog baby and I fight to the end. If I'm the down dog, don't matter. I'm gamer than him. I'm not making a turn. You gotta kill me to win. And my owner won't pick me up. I'll bite him. Got holes in my face. I'm not giving a shit. Your dog was bitch and my grip. He's a cur and he quit. No disrespect to bitches cause we need them too In fact, I've seen many that were gamer than you I don't bark, I don't growl, all I know is biting And I don't get socialized, all I know is fighting And other than that, I'm just on my chain Over the back of a game bitch, creating the same My conditioning consists of flirt pole, spring pole Treadmill for a month and I swallow you whole I'm 30 pounds a pup, you could be a hundred and up A five time winner, don't matter, I'm making my dinner Let's get it done the first time, never see the same dog Look in my eyes Nice fucker, cause this is a game dog. I wasn't bred for looks, I was bred to bang. I wasn't bred for size, I was bred for the game. I wasn't bred for color, I was bred for the game. My offspring is game, and I expect the same. I wasn't bred for looks, I was bred to bang. I wasn't bred for size, I was bred for the game. I wasn't bred for color, I was bred to be game. My offspring is game, and I expect the same. I've survived hard goals, my game test was best. If you're a head dog, don't matter, I go for the ch- I lock down, I bite hard, you need a break and stick Against a hard punisher and I'm taking it I'm not an ace, I have no superpowers but I'm game C Pleasure and pain for me is one and the same I felt teeth touch my bones, heard the pop Enough shaking and pop to put a man in the shop But I'm not a man, you see this is in my nature Man made, dead the song and a band played Dead game, amazing grace, see how it tastes Death is the only way for me to escape And that's my freedom, can't deny me that and my predecessors before were just like that. Put your money on me and forget the lame dog. Look in my eyes, fucker, cause this is a game dog. I wasn't bred for looks, I was bred to pain. I wasn't bred for size, I was bred for the game. I wasn't bred for color, I was bred to be game. My offspring is game and I expect the same. I wasn't bred for looks, I was bred to pain. I wasn't bred for size, I was bred for the game. I wasn't bred for color, I was bred to be game. My offspring is game and I expect the same. Wild side kennels with a cord of Kobe. Primarily Jeep, though I date back to Primo. Broke legs, torn ears on his shirt and cropped him. Died dead game in 20 minutes, he should have stopped him. Six year old Rand Champ should retire and stud. Used to be a firecracker, now they think I'm a dud. Okay, bet against me. Lose your wealth and your belt. And remember this I will fight the devil himself. I'm hard to hurt, and I'm even harder to kill. My body's hard, and almost as strong as my will. My willpower don't yield. The chemical in my brain tells me, let me off this leash. And I get it a train built to last three hours, maybe get devoured on my deathbed. I won't die fight instead. I'm man made dead. The song of the band play dead game. Amazing grace, see how it tastes. Death is the only way for me to escape, and that's my freedom. Can't deny me that. And my predecessors before were just like that. Put your money on me, even against the game dog. Look in my eyes, fuck it, cause this is a game dog. Yo, y'all can hear me? Beat the flesh and skin off you. All right, first off, appreciate everybody stopping by in the first game dog history channel live we got a couple topics we gonna hit on today as far as the breed goes as far as move as far as breeding goes we got a couple questions we gonna hit also first off let's see uh see if i can pull this up
I should have put that the thumbnail up there. Can go right here. Oh, well. First topic we're going to hit on is inbreeding versus line breeding. The cons and pros of the inbreeding, line breeding stuff. Right off the bat, your supreme excellence, Dickie Foster. Hard and finished kennels. Appreciate y'all for swinging by, man. We gonna we gonna hit on this real quick. Get that. First off, we gonna get into the line breeding and inbreeding aspect of it. Oh, let me put this up here. Put a little disclaim up there. Before we get too deep into the topic, but right here we got Pitt Allen's thug. All right, if you know what you're looking at, you can already see what's going on back here in the back in the fourth generation. If you don't know what you're looking at, I'm gonna school you real quick. Again, you know I could be wrong with some of this stuff, but this is most of the stuff that I know. Or well, that. Sorry about that. Or this most stuff that I know, or stuff that I was at least told. Uh, coming up in the dogs. Right off there. All right, we gonna go ahead and go to Yellow John. Right there. Well, that they're right there. The father to daughter breeding. They'll be inbreeding dogs. All right. So Yellow John came off of an inbred father daughter breeding. That, that, that's right off the rip. Right here, Pitts, oh, Pitt Island Thug is a very well line bred dog. If you don't know what you're looking at, there's a Red Boy Jocko stuff. You got Red Boy right there, Jocko right here. You don't want all these dogs are in between, the none but Red Boy and Red Boy Jocko dogs. If it's not Red Boy Jocko, it's just pure Jocko stuff. Every last one of these dogs in this pedigree is go go straight back to either Jocko or Red Boy. Nothing but inbred dogs, basically. They got you to where you are now with Pitts Island Thug. All right, if you go to only thing about that is, let's see, let's do um, let's do Mellow Yellow. The exact same thing right here. All right. Yellow, red boy dog, straight to Miss Jocko. All the way down. SCP Sassy goes back to some old red boy stuff, some old Jocko stuff on the bottom. These guys, they don't play games when it comes to inbreeding and line breeding these dogs as long as you know what you're doing. Down here. Again, we don't care about none of them pretty colors. We got Jocko on top, Jocko on the bottom side, and then back here in the back, we got some of that Red Boy stuff. Basically, you just keep on you getting you a pure line of these dogs. Inbreeding is nothing but maybe dad to daughter, mother to son, uncle to, I guess, niece. And, you know, whatever else, basically just family members to family members. So niece, cousins, uncles, nephews, um, brothers, sisters, you know, and then your outcrosses. That's you don't really. Uh, you don't really necessarily need an outcross until you've 
double down on certain traits. Because once you get past that, uh, let's say, the uh, estimate of maybe 6.25, like once you double down on that, so maybe it'll be like 12 point something, it's time for you to outbreed. If you don't outbreed, then you're going to wind up with bad traits, whether it's in your bones, your structure, you know, your teeth, mindset, smarts, gameness, whatever. You get too far into inbreeding, you start losing traits. You know, it, it's okay for maybe first two times, you know, so you could double down, triple down, or whatever. But once you go past that, you start to see different types of deformities and all the stuff that you don't want inside of your program. Me personally, I'm not going to sit up here and read a dog two, three, four times back to his granddad and, you know, grandparents, all that good stuff, mama, dad. I'm going to do it maybe once or twice, get my blood tight, and then I'll go with an outcross. So let's say, for instance, I had this Piss Island dog right here, right? Beautiful. Now, don't get me wrong. Pitts Island did his thing. Well, did his or her thing with his dog right here. I'm not going to lie to you. But I wouldn't let it get this close together, you know? All of these dogs are just red boy or red boy Jocko dogs or Jocko dogs. I wouldn't I wouldn't get this close. Right down here on the bottom, I would have maybe took Tanks Rojo maybe to like maybe a Eli bread jib with a little bit of maybe some of that bolio stuff in it. You know, just to kind of push out. I wouldn't say necessarily push out, but take out a certain amount. Of that red boy stuff because I can I can understand having a pure line of these dogs, for instance, red boy dogs. Let's say that's all I want. I would take the best red boy or red boy jocko female and breed it to my best red boy or red boy jocko dog. All right. Once you double down on that, guess what? You keep breeding for so on and so forth, you get a pure line of red boy jocko dogs. All right. Most of the time, you know, the long run is you get your own bloodline in between maybe roughly an estimate of seven to nine generations. But most of these cats now, they like to rush, right? So they'll try to push through all these different generations just to get close up. They'll maybe try to do it in maybe three or four generations. You wouldn't want to do that fast way isn't always the best way me personally i'm gonna take the long route so i know what i'm doing i have a better chance of getting what i'm looking for if i was to take the long route because i know exactly what i'm putting in exactly what i'm taking out it's just like cooking if you'll cook you know exactly how much season to put in exactly how much spice you know you got your own estimate because you you're the one that created it is basically just like cooking with these dogs. Now, I'm not saying go out there and take your hottest female and breed to see your hottest male, all right? And you don't know that, you know, if you're just going off of what you see in front of you, you know, just because one of them's hot and barking off the chain, you know, you could, if you breed off that, you're really not going to get nowhere in this breed, in my opinion. What I look for, most definitely, got to go for structure got to go for smarts all right you got to go for good bones i can't really say gameness because there, there's no way to test your gameness that is legal we could, we could say that all right so i mean unless you find you know the baddest coon in the bunch you know outside you could test it then but you can never test a dog's gameness until they're pushed to their limit. Whether that's on a treadmill and they tired, uh, spring pole, walking, whatever. If a dog doesn't quit in any moment that I feel like it should quit it, I'm going to consider the dog game. Now, back in the day, you know, they had different ways to test it that you couldn't get 
and as much trouble for it as you can nowadays. Now, you you, you got to play. You got to. You can't be dumb in this game. That's, that's what I was told when I was growing up and in, in, into these dogs. You can't be dumb. You have to have smarts, man. I was told dogs and drugs don't mix. Dogs and guns don't mix. So you got to, and most of all, you can't be dumb and have these dogs. So if you're a dumb owner and you have a good dog, you're going to mess over that dog. And if you have a dumb dog, that's a good, you know, you might have, you know, a dumb dog. And you'll be a good owner. You you might, it's a strong might. You might get something from that dog. You might be able to push that dog, you know, to a certain extent to where it's like, okay, this is what my owner wants me to do. This is how I'm going to do it. But we, we're going to get back on track. This dog right here, this thug dog, I, I wouldn't really want it that close, you know, simply because, you know, you get too close. You start seeing deformities and you start losing certain traits that you might want in your program. I wouldn't get that close. I might have, let's say, the whole top side and just the sire on the bottom side as Red Bull Dogs. And that bottom would possibly be uh, Jeep Eli, right? So you'll have Red Boy Jocko, Jeep Eli. And if you don't know about that, you know, and do your research, that's a mean cross. You know, there's prefer there's guys who really try to keep their lines as pure as possible, but eventually, you know, they breed it too tight, it starts getting watered down. You you lose certain, most of all, the good traits that come with the Red Boy dogs. All right. And most of the Red Boy dogs I've seen, historically speaking, they got the traits that you want when it comes to breeding that's why nine times out of ten you're gonna either hear about the most dogs you know as far as bloodline goes you're gonna hear about red boy you're gonna hear about jocko you're gonna hear about jeep and eli those are the in my opinion the hottest bloods out right now every now and then you might hear about that bolio tombstone stuff Bolio tombstone stuff is good, especially coming off the uh, what's the, what it is, um, the uh, what is it, crab dogs? The coming off them crab dogs, that bolio tombstone stuff there, th that's nice right there. That stuff leaning a little bit towards the the aspect of um, uh, Zebo, you know, bolio tombstone or some of that Zebo stuff, that's good, you know. But me personally, I, I wouldn't get that close. Yeah, Red, Red Boy Jocko is a good cross, man. Shoot. And that, you know, that's another thing with these dogs, bro. If you got a blood, if you got a dog and you know, and you know the bloodline tour, you don't necessarily need to pay. Because I've had dogs, you know, given to me, and I know how the dog bred. And I don't need a pet off the dog. You know, people go around throwing these pets together. If you don't know how to put that shit together correctly, you're not going to get nowhere. You're going to have a yard full of garbage. Or you're going to end up, you know, all that scatter breeding and stuff. Pedigrees are okay, you know, when it comes to seeing how it formulates together. But most of, most of the time, you, you go off what's in front of you. It's good to know where they came from. Don't get me wrong. But most of all, it's best to know what's in front of you. You could, you could do a lot more. You go a lot more off of judgment with your eyes than you can off what them older dogs did back in the day. Because most of these guys ahead of you, they knew what they was doing. But then you got the sire and the dam. And you might get your dog from somebody... You know, who don't know as much about dogs, but they breed in a breed. And in that aspect, it's okay to know what the dog's coming off of, you know, what traits to expect. But then if the breeder didn't do his job, you, you're not getting nowhere. You, you're honestly not. At that point, you know, you buy something from Chico Lopez, you know, all that watered down crap. Don't get, don't, you know, don't get me wrong. Chico Lopez has some good bred dogs. 
you start to look at it, you know, you see certain deformities if you compare it to the older dogs. Let's say we go to, uh, let's see. What's uh, another red blood cross we could do? Uh, see, yeah, this, this right here is too tight. Mellow yellow, that's a red blood dog, if I'm not mistaken. Yep, red blood dog. Ripple Jocko, Ripple Jocko, Jocko. Yeah, this, this, yeah, this, this, this tight. So, right here, they inbred these dogs. All right. I see the side of this is Taint Stug. Okay. Taint Stug is right there. I mean, not Taint Stug. What am I saying? What am I saying? Um, I was praying. It's Pitts Island Thug. My bad, I'm so much taint stuff. Pitts Island Thug, can you come here to this one? And it's red devil. So that's uh what like father father to daughter. Red devil thug. Okay, no, 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 no. That's wrong. That's a half brother, half sister. Yeah. Half brother, half sister. In that case, that's that's line breeding. That ain't inbreeding. They good then. This dog is a it's a line bred dog. And then you got Thug, who's that inbred dog. So you gotta imagine. You click on this. Yeah, let's see look at that. Sassy set like. Some old red boy stuff, red boy jacko stuff, like this, this right here, yeah, this, that's too close. That dog look good though. He lost game, three times in there, few minutes. He was young. He's good, hundred percent bulldog. Fish. Okay, that's 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 right there. That's that's too close. That that's way too close to me. Let's see. Maybe they did an out cross with him. Let's try this. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Mm. Okay. That that's not that's not bad. Okay. Yeah, I, I can see that. I can see that. Some Jeep stuff in there. Jeep dogs aren't bad either. So that, that that's I say that's a good outcross. That's some good stuff. Chicken, yeah. That's true. But hold on, let's see. There's a <laughs> what's this thing? Move. Uh, let's see. Where's this thing at? Now I'll be able to show y'all some, some pretty good bred dogs if I could find a pedigree. Hold on. Uh, what's this thing? What's this? Uh, here you go, right here. Pretty sure y'all already know about the, um, you know, Buck City Kennels. Michael Myers, you know, old Michael Myers dog, you know, Iceman and all them good dogs. You want to know, you want to talk about some well-bred dogs? Let, let me, let me show you this, right? So you got Iceman, Trap Dog, you got GL Chief Buck, Eli Carver. Let me click on this real quick. And this, now, this is just an example of... Hey, is it gonna load? Ah, here we go. Uh, damn, hold on. I lost it. Now, when I when I say sit down and, and formulate, like put yourself together, this this is what I'm. Yeah, bro. <laughs> the red boy Eli dogs. That that that's it right there. Where's the uh, 
thing. Did it pull up? Yeah, like, like, look at this right here. Hold on. I think, can I share it? Hold on, wait a minute now. Figure out how to work this. Right? Uh, what is it? Damn. All right, there we go. Hey, look at here. Right. Get down. Move. You come in here. Oh, shit. That ain't just the wrong bed. You come in here, right? Look at this right here. And then again, like I said in some of the videos, if you don't know what none of this is, you simply come back here to the fourth gen and you can go on through all of that. It's uh, I want to say Lady Doll. What is Lady Doll? Lady Doll. Yeah, I'm weather tripping outside. I got the internet slow. This live might not even be that long, bro. Might not even be able to hit on all the topics that we got. Okay, so it's a red boy dog. Red boy, red boy Jocko. So, relatively, you want to say these are some pretty nice bred red boy, red boy Jocko dogs. You come up at the top, yellow man, got macho buck, red boy Jocko, Bolio Tombstone, Kennels, you know, so on and so forth. Cracking Kennels, okay. Me personally, I don't get why people down talk the man's dogs like they do. You know? This man, well, okay, I can't necessarily say man, but this person has sat back, actually sat down and put this stuff together. You know? You can't just throw this together in your backyard unless you know exactly what you're doing. You got the uh, Red Boy stuff. You got the Jocko all the way through Mayday. You got a little bit of that Hollingsworth. I don't know too much about the Hollingsworth stuff. But, okay, you got Jumping Jacks, you know, some more. So, you got the same top side. You got that little switch up at the bottom. Not much. But you got a little... A little a little foreplay in there if you know what you're looking at again i don't care nothing about all them pretty colors you know it ain't nothing to go through all these dogs see a whole bunch of pretty colors pretty colors don't mean a damn thing you're gonna click through there see what them dogs got off you know see what they see what they coming off of Let's go to this bolio stuff. STP's buck. Uh, let's see. You got bolio. There's a uh, buck. Blondie. Click on awesome baby. Okay. So Bolio Red Boy stuff. Red Boy Jocko stuff. Come on out. Click on Bondi. Bolio top side. Red Boy Jocko bottom. And you got this little bit of stuff down here. Back to this same thing. Let's that out. Let's look at, uh, let's see what other dog we got.
You got the Jeep Rascal stuff. Cap itching. Let's see, Jeep Rascal. Uh, what's this dog? Just some more. Okay. You could you could do that one. You do. Do this. Jeep Rascal dog. Jeep Rascal top side, pure Jeep bottom. Actually, Honey Bunch. I think Honey Bunch got a little bit of, a little bit of Eli in it. Yeah, got a little bit of Eli. So, let's see. Okay. So you got Jeep Rascal, a little bit of Eli in the back. Don't really care too much about that. You got the first, the second. Third, we come on back into that boomerang, honey bunch, rascal, you know, all that scattered stuff. See what's another dog we could look up. We could try. Let's do. Uh, What's the name of that dog? Take a look at um, Game Buzz, Gennos, Black Beast. Oh, this back. This back real quick. <laughs> Red Boy. Let's see. I'm gonna, this Marlon's Rider stuff goes. Okay. So, I'm going to say this is a. Uh, so, I want to say all that Marlo, Marlo stuff is. Okay, so that's all this red boy stuff. So you got the whole red boy top side. Come on down. You got uh okay, going back to some of that Cherokee stuff. Cherokee polio. Evolution. Okay. So I don't know about these dogs. Talking about it's real tombstone. 
Okay. Ain't not bad. We're gonna look at offspring. Let's do. Uh, let's try this dog right here. Mm. Let's see. Give me a profile. Charles Hunter, Red Boy. Okay. That's not the exact dog I'm looking for. Let's see. Mm. You know, we do Nico Jr. No, it's not off of Nico. What is it? Is it, is it Jeep Boy? I think it is Jeep Boy. It is. I think that's what it is. It's not even the right dog. Again. Doug Miller Man. Let's change. Let me go. Let's do my pitch. I don't know what it is. It's Benny's. Is it not? I thought it was finished. Okay, it. I think that's it. Nope, that ain't it. Not find it all. Oh well, we gonna go to. Uh, let's see. It's another dog I got pulled up here. Too many pants over. Hold on back. Come on I'm back. See, we could do buckets to. I think we missed Lee. What's that, the dog? Thanks, so unstable. 
Hello, what dog is which? Oh, okay. Thank you for the load. We're going to go ahead and get this down real quick before we uh, Reception at the Rottweiler is a good fighting dog. Garbage. A lot of people walk around with these cur dogs they call pit bulls. Butts. 15 minute wall jumping curves. We'll let you know about the real bulldog. The opposite of a cur fucking big dog. Uh, I'm a bulldog baby and I fight to the end. If I'm the down dog, don't matter. I'm gamer than him. I'm not making a turn. You gotta kill me to win. And my owner won't pick me up. I'll bite him. Got holes in my face, I'm not giving a shit Your dog was bitching my grip, he's a cur and he quit No disrespect to bitches cause we need them too In fact, I've seen many that were gamer than you I don't bark, I don't growl, all I know is biting And I don't get socialized, all I know is fighting And other than that, I'm just on my chain Or a back of a game bitch, creating the same My conditioning consists of flirt pole, spring pole Treadmill for a month and I swallow you whole I'm 30 pounds a pup, you could be 100 and up a five time winner it don't matter, I'm making my dinner Let's get it done the first time, never see the same dog Look in my eyes, fucker, cause this is a game dog I wasn't prepped for looks, I was bred to bang I wasn't prepped for size, I was bred for the game I wasn't bred for color, I was bred for the game My offspring is game and I expect the same I wasn't bred for looks, I was bred to bang I wasn't bred for size, I was bred for the game I wasn't bred for color, I was bred to be game My offspring is game and I expect the same I've survived hard goals, my game test was best If you're a head dog, don't matter, I go for the chest I lock down, I bite hard, you need a break and stick Against a hard punisher and I'm taking it I'm not an ace, I have no superpowers but I'm game See, pleasure and pain for me is one and the same I felt teeth touch my bones, heard the pop Enough shaking and pop to put a man in a shop But I'm not a man, you see, this is in my nature Man made, dead the song and a band played Dead game, amazing grace, see how it tastes Death is the only way for me to escape And that's my freedom, can't deny me that and my predecessors be all were just like that. Put your money on me and forget the lame dog. Look in my eyes, fucker, cause this is a game dog. I wasn't bred for looks, I was bred to pain. I wasn't bred for size, I was bred for the game. I wasn't bred for color, I was bred to be game. My offspring is game and I expect the same. I wasn't bred for looks, I was bred to bang. I wasn't bred for size, I was bred for the game. I wasn't bred for color, I was bred to be game. My offspring is game and I expect the same. Wild side kennels with a quarter Kobe. Primarily cheap, though I date back to Primo. Broke legs, torn ears, owner should have cropped him. Died dead, game in 20 minutes, he should have stopped him. Six year old grand champ, should retire and stud. Used to be a firecracker, now they think of a dud. Okay, bet against me, who's your wealth and your belt? And remember this, I will fight the devil himself. I'm hard to hurt, and I'm even harder to kill. My body's hard, and almost as strong as my will. My willpower don't yield, the chemical in my brain tells me, let me off the leash and I get it a train, built to last three hours, maybe get devoured, on my deathbed I won't die, I'll fight instead, I'm man-made, dead, the song of the band play, dead game, amazing grace, see how it tastes, death is the only way for me to escape, and that's my freedom, can't deny me that, and my predecessors be forward just like that, put your money on me, even against the game dog, look in my eyes, fucker, cause this is a game dog,
Righto, we got North versus South, historically speaking, of course. Hold on, let me put this up here. North versus South, going to end up with SDP's Buck versus Champion Sandman. This, the same Jeep Rascal. Going against that Bolio Tombstone. Well, Bolio Dogs. Indian Bolio, Patrick, Bull Boy, all that good stuff. Who are you? You rock a bit. You taking both? Or champion Sandman. Yeah, that 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 song is by Ebony Lou. Called Dead Game. Let's see, let's see, let's see. I think there's a. This should be a little. Not that ain't it. All right, here while I'm doing this. But I'm looking for this. Y'all can, uh. No merch. All right, we got the mugs, got stickers. Of course, you, <laughs> you know, we got SDP's book, No versus South merch. These shirts, they come in. Literally any color. All right. Game Dog History Channel on the front. South versus North. SDP's Buck. Versus Sam, man. She over here, get home. Going now. Get on somewhere. 